What's up, peeps? My dips here. Today I have a oldie but newie. Newie, is that a word? Device to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Inikin. It is the MVP version 5 with the Ajax sub -ohm tank. Ajax. Yeah, I know. It's not the Ajax, the house cleaner. I know, I know. People in the comments right now. Oh, yeah, Ajax means this in mythology. Cool. The MVP5. Lots of features. Lots to talk about. Let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys what you get. We will navigate it. Show you guys everything about it. Come back. Vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the MVP5 with the Ajax tank. And here's the packaging, the MVP5 with the Ajax tank by Inikin comes in. Inside the packaging, you will get an MVP quick start guide. You also get this warning and safety pamphlet. You also get some spare O-rings, top fill gasket, a couple of screws, and a spare bubble glass. Tank holds 5 ml of e-liquid. You also get a lanyard. And the cool thing, we've seen this before. With the lanyards i think it was what was it the smoan that had done it you basically just click these buttons here disconnect and you have type c charger lanyard charger combo cool and the ajax tank we have drip tip on top is a 510 drip tip little arrow indicator there push forward that's who you fill from and you see these two screws that's what i was talking about with the two extra screws because you could remove this piece so you could change the top fill gasket that you see there if you need to do that. Haven't had any issues of this sliding off on me, but it's not the firmest. Kind of wish there was a little bit of a locking feature. I'm surprised Inigin didn't do their little drip tip thing where it locks everything in place with the drip tip. So looking at the bottom, our airflow controller. There we go. It does have a stopper. Feels to be some sort of acrylic design going on there. The design of the tank itself is going to match the design of the mod. The tank's going to come in a bunch of different colors and variations. The bottom doesn't say nothing on there. Let's look at that 510 pin. You can see there, 510 does protrude out, which is a good sign right there. It does protrude out. The coil itself that's pre-installed will pull it right out there. Ajax, you see Canthal Ajax 3D. 50 to 80 watts, 0.16 resistance. And the spare coil is a 30 to 55 watt, 0.35 Canthal Ajax 3D. And here is the MVP5 by Enigin. So, this is the sand color. All right, they're going to come in a bunch of different colors. That gunmetal they got and the green, the olive green and the white are gorgeous. But this one here is the sand, has gold chrome accents in the top and bottom lots of features packed into this 5200 milliamp hour battery in here the device itself also has on the bottom an out port let's flip it up right so you could plug a usb in here you could charge your phone so it's also a power bank another feature we have is this button here which corresponds with this right here which is a flashlight let me see you see there, we do have a flashlight on there. And then if you're looking on here, you could change different modes. So I have maximum, mid. So I could change what the light does. See that? And for each one, it tells you how much time you have in battery life. And then obviously to power it off, you're going to click on that button. Powers the flashlight off. Our fire button here. We have a little bit of rattle when you're shaking it. We have that inlay. This is what I was talking about. Each tank will correspond with the mod. There's your inlays on this one. And you could see here the black version that I'm using corresponds with the tank. Looking at the side over here, it does say Type C. Pull that down. And you have your Type C charger. We have 2 amp charging with this. It charges pretty quick, this device. Then you can see here there's a little something here which got mountains outdoor theme with this one here for the outdoorsman for the camper and so forth so device check atomizer obviously there's no atomizer one two three you can see that device is now off powered on it's three clicks device is powered on up and down buttons if you press them at the same time 
you have like a dimmer effect so if you don't want to use a, if you don't want your screen to be bright you could just do that press it again it brings it right back we have our up button our down button and our menu select button really love the three button configuration on this mod let's do a little bit more of a zoom in and you can see when the timeout screen happens it'll tell you the time and date and no that's not today's date this one here i haven't set the date on it only the one i've been using we're going to click up button you're going to see a blink this is the way you change your wattage you can see it does it in 0.5 increments all right press it fast we'll see what it goes up to if i'm not mistaken this is a 120 watt device oh i just stopped by mistake there we go there we go 120 watts and it does round robin and on here it does say the time this green bar is your battery life normal mode which i'm in your resistance and i'm in wattage mode on here right now now click this button three times the menu button one two three brings you into this mode you have your wattage click the menu button to select that we have our normal boost soft ajax z coil and curve now the cool feature here with the z coil and the ajax is it will tell you it detects the tank it detects the resistance of this coil the ajax coil and let's say the resistance for this coil that's on here right now that's pre-installed is 50 to 80 watts the device will only allow you to work with anywhere between 50 and 80 watts like you won't be able to do 70 watts i mean i'm sorry 90 or 100 watts and accidentally burn your coil great feature by them they also have that feature in here for the z coil which is awesome let's go back i'm not activating which is a z coil so for your mtl vaping you also have that protection and obviously we have our custom curves here go to back then we have in here our tc mode so you have your tc stainless steel titanium nickel tcrs and so forth let's go back over here we have our cutoff i have it set at eight seconds of constant firing it'll stop firing let's go back over here we have our puff counter obviously this is a brand new one hasn't been used our display now inside here we have our color so i could change the color on this let's highlight the blue and now i could do all different colors inside the display you can see there there's a little mixture of a rainbow so let's go to this one here now go back now i have brightness and right now it's at full brightness let's go back and then timing and this is your standby timeout and it's set at 20 seconds go back back over here sensors now this has something where you have sensors in here you have temperature setting you have altitude and barometer on here and it's also a compass which is pretty cool and obviously to set this device up it says move the device basically in that eight see the eight you have to actually sit there and move i'll do it right now i'll demonstrate anyway it's going to take too long i think i have to hold it upright to do it but anyway it does set it and everything i have it on my other mod set already which i'll show you guys now you can see here after it's set you do have the compass so right now i'm pointing north all right it'll give you all your info over here and then obviously the next one will be system and over here you have your clock you could set a pass key you have an id number what version uh i think the id number that's on here is id number for the mod i guess i'm not 100 percent sure on that and this one will tell you what version software is inside here as indigen's website and then you could reset the whole mod click back and that's it that's all your features on this mod and for a quick size comparison i'll put it up against the legend you get a basic idea it's about the same dimensions as the legend all right guys and that was the Anakin mvp5 and ajax tank let's go back up on top let's vape on it and i'll give you guys my thoughts and there you have it the up close mvp5 ajax tank mike your thoughts tank works great i really don't have any complaints with it flavors awesome on here great vapor the only thing is i'm just worried about the top fill the little slider it does slide a little bit easy i'm surprised they didn't use their drip tip thingy to lock that top fill from moving the slider you guys know like the the slide tank has that feature yeah i'm surprised they didn't add it on here but i really have no complaints about the tank it vapes great great flavor 
keeps up no problem at all. The mod, this is what it's all about, is the MVP5, baby. The MVP. Wow. The original MVP, I still have mine. That was my first box mod. This is, uh, and not only the, that mod, and a couple of other of the mods, I still have them. They're on display. Inikin was uh, the first company when I quit smoking. I went to vaping. One of the first companies where I experienced the hobby aspect of vaping. So, big props to Inikin with all their devices. And they always feature devices with safety. Battery safety. So, big pro on that. Now, the device itself. Mike, do you have any cons with this device? First con is going to have to be the compass. Great idea, having a compass. But I can't see north and south. The font is so tiny, you could only see it with the camera. The way I did the up and close... But in looking at it, you cannot see it all. And even if you have good eyesight, it's it's very small. Oh, I just turned the flashlight on. My bad. But it... <laughs> yeah, you know, we screw up a little bit. We're not editing that out. We're leaving it in. All right, so the compass. Uh, what else, Mike? The other color, the sand color, had button rattle. This one is silent. The other one has a little rattle. Remember, these are pre-production or they're not the um, released version. So, yeah. But it's something worth mentioning on that. The display itself has a brightness, and it's at fully max. And at fully max, this display should be brighter, in my opinion. And then you have this, where I could dim it down. You guys could see how dim it is now. Now I'll click on that. All right. I mean, inside here, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful display. Outside, it's a little bit hard to see. And this is considered an outdoorsman device. And I'm surprised the screen is dim. It should have been brighter. So maybe they could tweak that before with firmware or something. They could tweak that for it to be brighter. Because you do have a control on there to lower the brightness. So yeah, it should have been brighter in my opinion. You know what? Other than that, I really don't have too much complaints on the device itself. There's a lot of pros with this. A lot of pros. First pro doesn't have to be... 5,200 milliamp hour built-in battery, big pro, power bank, on the go. You could charge your cell phone. The lanyard, big pro, the lanyard itself has everything for you to charge your phone, which is awesome. Big pro right there. Flashlight. It's convenient. I love the flashlight. I'm always using flashlights down here. It gets dark sometimes. I don't keep all the lights on all the time down here. If I'm at the desk, I have flashlights. And I always, I oh, got the mod there. I just be like, oh, okay, there you go. I could look for stuff in the dark area. So pretty cool. I like the flashlight. Even for outdoor, you want to grab your keys. You're looking. The light burns out so you can't see your keys, which key is for your door. Just grab your mod, turn the flashlight on, and do it. Yeah, I know cell phones also have it, but hey. It's awesome. This is a powerful flashlight on here. I'm going to have to give it a pro. Another pro is going to have to be the menu system. This is a great menu system that, that's in here. It is complete. I love, absolutely love the feature inside here that it has for the Ajax tank and for the Z coils. Basically, it would be the slide or the zenith for MTL vaping. It detects the, when you set it up, let's say you click on Ajax inside the device. And the re it reads the resistance of the coil and gives you the wattage that the coil is recommended between 50 and 80 watts. That's the only power options you have on there, which is awesome because somebody gets a device, they're like, oh, I don't know what to use for wattage. They don't have to worry. They don't have to worry that by mistake, especially with an MTL coil, the Z coils, you don't have to worry about hitting that coil at 120 watts by mistake. So I think that's a big pro that they added that feature inside here. And again, once again, the menu system on this thing is awesome. You can customize the display with different colors. It does a lot. It does a lot, this device. And I think they really did a great job with it. Aesthetically, looking at it though, it's not, in my opinion, the prettiest. I, Me personally, this is honest shit. I don't like like this V. With that. I, I don't like the color coordinations that they've done with it but they have some nice colors that uh olive green and the gunmetal i'll show them right now as i'm talking the olive green the gunmetal and even the white looks pretty hot too 
But all in all, you know what? Nice mod. I think they did a great job with it. Congratulations, Inikin. MVP, like I said, the original MVP was my first box mod. And I have another MVP for my collection. And yeah, I'll be using this one. This is a great little device for on-the-go. I love the fact that I could charge my cell phone on-the-go with this. I think it's awesome. All right, price on this. I'm seeing the kit that's going to be selling for around $67.95. I think that that's the price I saw on elementvape.com. They will have them in stock very soon. That's it. I think I pretty much covered everything in this video. In the description below, there will be no links to none of these vape products because I'm not allowed. It's a YouTube policy. But I do have links to advocacy down below. They're in the description. They're in a pinned comment. Yeah, November 9th. Yes, we have the D.C. rally. I want to see every U.S. resident there. That vapes. <laughs> That'd be great. Imagine that, huh? Gosh, they say 13 million. Imagine if we had even a million. Yeah, but I don't know. I'd like to see a lot of people there because it's our time right now to fight for our rights to vape, especially flavored e-liquids. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, and remember... <laughs>